In this article we will talk about the problems of the hybrid system from the Toyota Corolla, 2018 to 2024, which would have amounted to repair costs of approximately 3,000 euros if the car had been repaired at the Toyota dealership. Instead, it was fixed with just 500 euros. This is a true story of a Toyota Corolla hybrid from 2021, used as Uber or taxi most of the time in the city and with over 200,000 kilometers or 120,000 miles. Let me tell you that on one of the hot summer days, when the temperature outside exceeded 37 degrees Celsius, the car did not want to start. The driver had stopped the engine half an hour ago to wait for someone. Then, when he wanted to drive, he pressed the start-stop engine button to start the engine and at that moment a lot of warning lights appeared on dashboard accompanied by two messages, hybrid system malfunction, visit your dealer, and also the message check engine, visit your dealer. Therefore, the car could no longer be started. It had to be taken on a tow truck and taken to car repair garage. First, the driver called the Toyota dealer to ask what the problem might be with his car. The mechanic from the Toyota told him that because his car is a hybrid model, it might have a problem with the water pump and it needed to be replaced. For this, the owner of the car should have paid €3,200 or $3,500. When he called the mechanic from another car repair garage for replacing the water pump, he told him that cost less, about €1,200 or $1,300. Fortunately, the problem was solved for only €500 or $550, the repair being done at another car repair garage and not at Toyota dealer. The problem was with the front radiator and air conditioning condenser and not with the water pump. Those two front radiators were removed. The air conditioning condenser was removed and replaced with a new one and the radiator was cleaned. As you can see from the pictures, the radiator and the air conditioning condenser were full of dust and dirt and because of this the car did not start. You must remember to always check the radiator and the condenser and if they are dirty, clean them at the first opportunity. Do not drive with them dirty or stained because at some point you will have the same problem. I hope that this information will help you too in case you encounter the same problem with the hybrid cars from Toyota. If you want to add something, please write to us in the comments section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe on YouTube channel, Tutorial Auto. Thank you for watching.